What's up guys? I got a little something special for you today. I have been inspired by my great friend iDad from iDad Online to shoot you a little tutorial of the new update for the TNT mods. This has got some of the craziest TNT stuff I've ever seen in my life. I'm going to show you some recipes. We might even set off a few to get started. Let's get turned around here. First, we're going to show you the minor TNT. This is a minor explosion. <laughs> Anyways, it's great for getting started. Here's your recipe. You need some iron, any oak log, um, it could be birch, any log wood, and some TNT in the center. We'll pop you out some minor TNT. Next, firebomb. This one's really cool too, but it's a little bit more expensive. You're going to need some redstone some lava buckets and a block of TNT and it'll pop you out a firebomb. We're gonna set these off, don't worry. Next up is napalm. This one's a little bit more dangerous. You're gonna, it's kind of expensive too. You're gonna need a lot of lava buckets to surround that TNT block with to get your napalm. Next is the projectile. This one's a little bit different. It almost reminds me of shrapnel in a way. You're going to need a bunch of iron ingots surrounding a TNT block to get a projectile, which seems kind of different. Anyways, a bundle projectile is pretty much the same as the projectile before, but it's all projectiles around a string, basically tying all these projectiles together. Let's set that down there. And the one of the bigger explosions, the nuke. The nuke is basically TNT and gunpowder. Simple enough to make, pretty cheap too, but one heck of an explosion. The next is a scatter bomb. It's another one of my favorites. You're going to need uh, four TNT, four gunpowder, and one nuke. So you got to remember before the nuke recipe to get your scatter bomb. Next, C4, which I really appreciate. Something different, yay. You're going to need clay, gunpowder, and a block of TNT to get C4. This will come in handy if you need to breach someone's house. Oh, yes. The Bunker Buster. This one's kind of fun, too. You're going to need obsidian on either side and C4 down the middle. This is kind of expensive to make. C4 isn't easy because clay is hard to find, so that's going to be an interesting one to build. Now, the Hydrogen Bomb. Warning, when you set this off, make sure your computer can handle it. This is one of the smaller explosions. Well, not really smaller, but it's intense. But this one still ain't the biggest one. We'll get to that one in a minute. We're going to need TNT on the corner, C4 around a nuke. So you got to remember to go always back to that nuke recipe. We'll set that right there. The Supernova, which is the biggest explosion I've ever seen in my entire life. And this, I'll have to say again, just like I did there, warning, do not use the supernova unless your computer can handle it. I have tried it several times and it has crashed my system, but we'll try it once more for you guys. This one's a lot expensive. You're going to need TNT on the outside there and then nukes in the center here with a scatter bomb. So you got to remember all the recipes from before to be able to set off the supernova. What we're going to do here is we're going to get us a little flint and steel like so and I want to show you some of these explosions let's get over this way a little bit we don't want to blow up that area uh, this is far enough away this is the minor TNT explosion remember it's minor <laughs> and I think each one of these have about a five to eight second explosion on them yes I have the sound turned down do not worry about that. It'll be okay. That's a pretty good explosion. You know, that's the minor TNT explosion. Like I said, it's just a minor explosion. <laughs> okay, moving on. Here is the firebomb. This is really good for when you want to really take out uh, someone's base. Because look at that. It sets everything on fire that it explodes around so if you're near somebody's house that's almost a perfect thing to do okay let's get the firebomb out of the way we'll move these down here these will be the last two we do because they're really intense i hope it don't shut us down but we'll try them anyways this is the napalm this one's actually kind of cool it actually pours lava over what it's hitting check this out do See? Lava. So if you're on a faction server this has this mod, 
Talk about destroying some stuff. That's actually pretty cool. We'll put this away. This one is the projectile. This one's, I love this one. It just reminds me of shrapnel so much because of the way it explodes. And like I said, each one has about a five to eight seconds, somewhere in that general area of a timer. Some of them, like these projectiles, will take a little bit longer. It's more of a 10 to 15 second fuse. So it gives you plenty of time to get out of the way. See, that's a pretty nice explosion for that sucker. Now we're going to do the bundled one, which should be quite the show. Let's set this down. Somewhere that looks good. Let's see what happens. So you gotta remember that's six that's eight projectiles, eight of those being linked together all in one block. See that? See how it's spread out? So now now that it not only exploded once, it exploded the main pack and then shot out extra of the projectiles in different areas to explode. So doom! Instead of taking out just that little bitty space like so, now we got this big, huge area, which the bundle projectile, see, that's where it reminded me of the shrapnel. See what I was talking about now? That is really, really fun, especially if you want to mess some stuff up. We'll do that later. We're going to do the scatter bomb and the C4 next. So next being the scatter bomb. The scatter bomb is kind of unique in itself, really. We'll set it off, and I'll show you what I mean. It actually boom, scatters like so in this big, huge area. Look at this. This looks like a nuke one also. Just imagine <laughs> one scatter bomb is going to wipe you out. Man, I know you can't really see that because I got my render distance down a little bit. But, man, look at that. That's a huge, huge area for just one scatter bomb so I, I i suggest take it easy on the scatter bomb your system will crash we'll move on to the c4 c4 is one of my favorites too nice little c4 oh get up here we don't want to be near that explosion see how big of a see that's nothing but see what i had done it has little craters just on the outside of it like it's boom and it's scattered around. So it's got the effects sort of like a scatter bomb. Now, let's move on to the nuke. And I say again, do not use these unless you can handle it. Because this sucker puts a hole in the earth. I'm going to have to, work. you better cross your fingers we don't lag out. This is a huge explosion. So let's see exactly what happens. Look at that. It sets everything that it explodes on fire. So it's almost like the fire bomb meets the scatter bomb in a nuke form. It just sets everything. So it just destroys everything in its path. Look, there's a sheep on fire. Burn, sheep, burn! <laughs> now, like I said before, I can't guarantee this won't lag out my system. If it does, I'll come back to where we was. We're going to do the hydrogen bomb. Should we do it now or supernova? Now or super? We're going to do the hydrogen bomb first. And like I said, warning, this may shut down your system. Let's see what happens. Oh god, I bet you I'm gonna lag out. <laughs> this is a huge bomb guys, you just don't even know. Just wait for it. This is another longer timer, it's like 10 to 15 seconds. Gives you plenty of time to get out of the area and it'll show you why. Just give it a second. As I said before guys, the hydrogen bomb completely lagged me out, shut my system down. It didn't even explode. It was such a huge explosion. So I'm not going to set off the supernova. I suggest you set off the supernova on your own time to see the explosion. Now I will warn you again that the supernova and the hydrogen bomb are very powerful and will lag you out. Make sure you have enough room and enough RAM dedicated to your Minecraft to set them off. I thank you for watching guys. Until next time, see ya.